Hi everyone, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF and on today's episode I've got something a little bit different for you. You might have seen if you watched my Whiskey In Whiskey Out at the beginning of, um, or last month or beginning of this month, um, I got a brand new glass this month. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give it the best kind of review that I can. You know, obviously I'm a whiskey reviewer, so I will just give you kind of my experiences basically with this glassware. You can see, uh, actually you can't quite see, but here on this cube here, I've got my glassware cabinet. It's it's pretty full of Glencairns, I'm not going to lie. But here's something interesting for you guys. Now, when I started this channel, I uh, always drank with a tumbler. You can go and check out my first 50 videos. They're always a, a cut glass tumbler. Uh, nothing expensive, just some cheap uh, you know, tumblers, basically. I got them off Amazon, a set of six for like 12 quid or 20 quid or something like that. Um, and they do the they do the heavy lifting of my daily whiskey consumption. If I'm sitting in the lounge and I'm watching YouTube, which I quite often do, I'll be drinking out of a tumbler. Sure, when I'm assessing whiskey, actually I don't use a Glencairn, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I pretty much, I only use a Glencairn on screen, is the truth of it all, because um, there's a lot of people out there that get really angry with the lack of Glencairn use. And I will, I'll say right now on record, that really annoys me, however, I would still like to reach those people. So if it means that I have to sit on screen and, and use a Glencairn, that's what I do. However, like I said, so if I'm assessing whiskey, you know, I, I like to use my nice little new whiskey journal that I've got now. If I'm, if I'm sitting there vibing a whiskey, I will probably use an ISO glass, you know, reaching over here, something like this, you know, uh, a little stem or whatever, something nice and light. So it's, I mean, it's pretty much Glencairn shaped. Okay. but. We are not here today to talk about assessing whiskey. Although I think this new glass, I think it's probably just fine at doing that. Um, we're talking about drinking experience, chilling out, changing the vibe of, of whiskey. And if you're into it, cooling whiskey, you know. I'll say at the top of the show, um, I, I'm not really a big cooling whiskey guy, but I did test this glass to see how uh, that might change. Um, obviously as well, I will say that I did get this sent to me um, by the guys at Dianas, which we're going to go through the packet together. And uh, if at any point you're interested in picking up one of these glasses or the pack, there's a um, there's a, a link in the description below, which goes to uh, an affiliate page to, to these guys. So you, if, you, if you do pick it up, I'll get a small commission off of that. So that will uh, help keep the lights on on the channel if you are interested. Okay. So when I got this, this came with a nice little bow. I did try to recreate the bow, but I'm terrible at that sort of thing. But if you are interested, it's a nice little sort of purple bow. I'm sure if you're uh, arts and craft minded, you, you find a repurpose of that. But um, yeah, I took it off. Um, so yeah, here's the Diamas glass box. I love the kind of purple. Purple's a big, uh, you know, we like purple in my house, uh, so it's nice. And you've got these kind of like nice motifs down there. People who like packaging are gonna be into this. Um, I, you know, typically speaking, once I've reviewed something, I get rid of the packaging and I probably will with this as well, but it is nice nonetheless. Nice slide out. So we'll get rid of that bit. And then you've got the, the proper logo up here in this kind of like textured box. And this is magnetic. So this pops out like this. Woo. Um, I'm going to open that up. So yeah, it's a nice, already a nice feeling thing. You know, packaging is important. Um, first thing then is you get a nice, um, a nice kind of like leaflet, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is this is the tumbler leaflet. Um, they've got some interesting stuff in here about how it's made, what it's made out of, why they've made it the way they've made it, uh, and then if you're really into it, they've got like a, a kind of practice guide on on how to use the glass, uh, or you can just find your own way. Um, if you are interested, it's uh, lead-free crystal white soda lime which is cool we like that um yeah I, I mean i'll leave i'll leave links to this below so it's it's good it's good we'll put that back there okay next up then you get a nice um this is a kind of like a cloth like a lint free polishing cloth with their design on it um i i would say uh i mean this is just a nice addition basically it doesn't pick up fingerprints any worse than any other glass but I think it does look really nice when it's been polished. I will say that. So I think for the experience of it all, I've actually found myself using this. Um, again, not because I feel like it needs it per se, but because uh, I find it just a kind of nice experience. There you go. And this is the glass. I'll hold it up in the uh, in the velvet. So inside here, you've got a nice, 
can hold it right. You've got a nice velvet liner. There's a little bag in here which I'll go through in a minute. This is the glass. The Diamas glass. There you go. So it's, it's a relatively small glass, but I will say it's really weighty. This is probably the heaviest glass that I own right now. Um, it comes in at about 350 grams. So that's about three Glencairn glasses. Um, and for me, we'll go through that a bit later on, but that's a massive part of the experience for me. Weight is huge. I like it. Um, the big main draw of this then is the, the kind of like five sided shape down here. Uh, and then obviously go that goes into the bottom. It's one whole piece of glass. So, you know, you've seen some glasses in the past where it's it's almost like a two parts that have been fused together, which saves weight and therefore expense. But um, I appreciate the weight. This is one solid piece. Uh, I actually have dropped this as well by accident, of course. And uh, it, it, I think it did probably did more damage to my floor. Whereas one of the things I really hate about Glencairns is how brittle they are. They're so thin. This is, I mean, you can see the thickness of this, of this glass. It's, you know, it's a good, it's a good few mil, which is pretty cool. Okay. And then the final part of this is this little baggie you get. And in here, the, the idea is that you chuck this bag in the freezer rather than just the stone. But this is a, I think, what, what do they call it? Like a dodecahedron, I think they call it. It's like, I think it's like a 12 sided. It's like a, like a D and D dice or something. But yeah, there's the stone and it's pretty weighty. This adds a good a good 150 grams onto the, the total weight. So if you are, you know, using that in the glass. One of the cool things about this is so obviously the five sided design down here is meant to match this. So this then locates nicely in the bottom. So you have kind of like a nestled cooling stone. Now, I, you'll, you'll notice I haven't chilled this today. So what I'm not going to do today is show you the chilling process because that's yeah, I think you're all clever enough to understand that that goes in the freezer you then grab that when you're ready and you stick that in your glass. Really nice weighty. Um, and what that then does, if you can see, is it allows the whiskey to sit around the top here. Some does some does go underneath. I think that's gonna be uh, designed out at some point because I think it's meant to locate a bit further down, but it basically spins around that, you know, as you're, if you look down here, as you're looking down there, the, the whiskey's kind of moving around there. Now. I will say this, um, I um, like I said, I don't really cool whiskey. I did use this, but I didn't vibe it in terms of general daily use. It's a nice little thing, um, but that's just me. I don't cool whiskey. I, but I imagine the truth of it all is that if you do cool whiskey, if you, do, if you like to use your whiskey stones or you like to use ice, this is going to be pretty good, essentially, because that's a really nice, nice tactile thing as well. It's fancy, right? And that's the important part of this. Is that we sometimes forget that whiskey, you know, we get bogged down in the perfect shape for aroma uh, and all this kind of stuff. But we forget that drinking whiskey is meant to be fun, um, and you don't always have to be sitting there going, "I want to get ninety nine percent of the convex flavors of this whiskey," because most of us aren't really like that. Is the truth of it all? So yeah, I get it, but. Probably the big thing about this is that, I mean, I'm a big car strength drinker. So a Glencarn actually is really bad for that because it focuses those really high strength ABVs into that narrow space. So then you have to kind of move your nose away and then you're kind of defeating the object of a Glencarn anyway. Whereas a nice big wide open tumbler, perfect. Back to the glass then. So here, without the stone in, you've got that kind of like five sided convex shape down there. Now that's interesting because what that does is allow some interesting fluid dynamics to go on where when you're swilling whiskey around a circular glass, obviously it's moving around. Now some glass designers have tried to do it in the past where they've, they put things to impede the flow like fins or something like that. Or, I mean, I've got like, I've got this glass years ago. I did a cover of glass that was basically shaped like a fjord that was not really for anything else other than looking fancy, but again, smashing that whiskey around. What this does is it moves the whiskey into one of the walls and then it kind of like they, it folds in on itself a little and moves around to the next one. So it is swirling around, but it's going like duh, 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 but then also folding in on itself. So in my opinion, it's a much gentler way of agitating your whiskey. Uh, and again, that's a deeply personal thing. Some people will say with their Glencarns, they'll, they'll a little tiny swill. Some people will really give it a good whatever, but that's up to you. Um, me, I like a nice, something 
in the middle of both of those things. I don't want it to be smashed to bits. I'm not, I don't want to sit there shaking it up like this. But I also don't really feel like just chucking it around the bottom of a bulb. Um, a glass doesn't doesn't really do what I need it to do. But yeah, I'll tell you what, let's get into a whiskey and see what we've got. I picked out a good one. The old uh, Black Boutique Whiskey Company 35 year old grain. Now, the recommended for this, I mean, I've, I've, I can't remember the last time I actually measured a whiskey, but they say 25 to sort of 50 mil. A little wee pour. And you can see I'm filling up the bottom of that quite nicely. Now, in, in my opinion, obviously you could fill that right up to the brim if you really wanted to. I think you're kind of losing something with that. So this is a good whis a whiskey glass for keeping a little a bit of temperance to your uh, whiskey drinking rather than a big like the big tumblers that I use you could easily chuck in four fingers into that by accident and before you know it you're drinking quite a lot of whiskey whereas I find that is a nice little that's probably somewhere between 25 and 50 ml what I've poured in there for your visual representation but you can see you can see how thick the bottom of the glass is by how the light's going there which I think is really beautiful and it kind of yeah it moves around nicely in there and you can see it's creating a little vortex i'll try and overlay a video of it going around the top in a minute but let's get into this and see what we got now for me again this is a this is a fairly it's not a high strength whiskey 45 percent but i mean I, I, yeah i'm a whiskey reviewer so i'm well versed at trying whiskies in all different kind of glassware now i get just as much flavor from this as i ever did on any other kind of glass but now I feel more relaxed <laughs> is the truth of it all um, I this is exactly what I would be doing You're sitting in there drinking this in this glass beautiful so a bit of a, a longer overview than normal for these kind of things but I thought it'd be really important to go through every facet of it to understand why I like this glass. I will say now, this glass, obviously you know me with my reviews, yes I get some free stuff, this was free, but I by no means feel obligated to say anything nice about uh, anything that gets sent my way. Uh, often I am very nice about whiskies, but that's because they're nice. With this glass here then, this one is fast becoming my daily go-to for just general sipping. Unfortunately, I don't have two at the moment, so I, I, when I've got friends over, I like everyone to have the same sort of glass because we should have the same experience if we're sitting next to each other, I think. But I should change that over the over the time because what you've got here then is a couple of options. If you've watched this far, hopefully you're still interested. The link below will direct you to the gift pack that I've got here. That's £32 at the moment. And that's um, obviously quite a lot. And if you're not into cooling whiskey, there is other options for you. You can buy the glass on its own, which is 20 quid. Which again, you know, a lot of people say that that's uh, that's a lot of money, but I don't think it actually is because some of the the whiskey glasses I've got back here, I've got some proper crystal cut glass tumblers. One of those was like eighty quid, so it's that this is a snippet. And when you think that in terms of weight, this is three times the glass of, or at least weight of a, a Glencarn, then I would expect it to be three times the cost. Now, the other thing to note about Diamas, if, if, even if this glass hasn't interested you at all, they're definitely worth keeping on your radar because the uh, the guy who runs it, Chris, he's a really engaged uh, design guy, I guess. Um, he's already looking at uh, other iterations and other different kinds of glassware that he can do. So I know he's got some interesting things that will suit uh, more people uh, in the future, including ways of um, keeping the stone in place, uh, including glasses with stems and things like that. So I can't go into it too much, obviously, because these are his products. But he's got some really, really interesting products coming through. But I think um, this is a great little set. It's good for, for chums to gift in and whatever. But in terms of people like me and you, the £20 glass on its own, I think it all it's just really, really nice. Hmm. So, yeah, you will find... You will find me, if you ever come over to my house, you will find me drinking out of this one more and more, I think. It's pretty good. But yeah, let me know what you think below. Let me know if you're interested in picking up a, 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 a one of these. And, you know, obviously hit that link below to help me out if you do. Because, um, yeah, I think they're good. But I want to hear your opinions down below. Let's have a little chat. But I'll see you again on more videos coming soon. Cheers. But if you... Oh.